Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So we are here back with our Miami Heat NBA 2K17 My GM series. But before we get into our opening game, we need to make some staff decisions and some roster moves. So for our staff, our assistant manager, Ryan Johnson, we are actually going to go ahead and fire him. Now, the reason why is because he has loose lips. And you know, when you try to do trade finder in this game and it gets back to the press, then the morale, all that good stuff goes all the way down. We don't want none of that. And he also has snake, which means that some of my objectives from the owner, he's not even going to tell me about. He's not going to remind me of anything because he wants to take my spot. So I don't feel like he should be on the staff. So we are going to go ahead, call him into the office. And we're going to fire him. So just like that, our assistant GM is gone, you guys. So we're at the press conference already. And look, right before he left, he must have already leaked some information because I'm hit up with information about a trade. Why are you trying to trade this player? All that good stuff. And we haven't even done anything already. I did about two trade finders, and this is already out to the public. So I'm upset about it. I'm going to go with I'm irate. That is going to be my answer. And apparently a lot of people really did not like the answer that i gave him and i don't know why i lost a lot of trust from the owner so apparently that is not the right decision for me to make but i was upset that it already got leaked so now we have to go ahead get another assistant gm so i'm looking at a couple of people already obviously it is not going to be ryan johnson but david vincent this is the guy i think we are going to roll with he doesn't have any negative traits and that is pretty much all i'm looking for out of the assistant gm so we're bringing him into the office. I really don't care what he needs to talk about. We're just going to go ahead and match this offer that he wants. So he wants a four-year deal, which we're going to go ahead and we are going to match. We have plenty of budget. We're going to send him this offer. He is gladly going to accept it. And we have ourselves a new assistant general manager. So no more snakes on our staff. This should be a pretty good thing moving forward. But first thing is first, we got to go ahead and make a move. I told you guys I don't really like Deion Waiters. I think he's going to move. One of my owner goals was to trade Luke Babbitt. So we're looking to move into the Sacramento Kings in exchange for Ben McLemore, who I don't really, I don't really want to play him too much. But the big piece is, is getting Scala BCR here. He is young. Hopefully, he could develop into a decent role player off the bench, a big man for us off of the bench, especially when Chris Bosh comes back. So, this is our starting lineup that we have right now. We got Goran Dragic. We're going to start Josh Richardson, Justice Winslow. McRoberts will start for us as well, then Hassan Whiteside. And then as for our bench, we're going to have Tyler Johnson coming off the bench. Scala BCR getting a lot of minutes. We don't really have a lot of other big men. And like I said, Goran Dragic, he's going to have to carry a lot of minutes as well because he is our only point guard on this actual entire roster. So, a lot of minutes from Goran, Goran Dragic. Everything else is pretty much where you would expect it to be. We have Derek Williams coming off the bench. He is in our eighth spot. Ben McLemore only getting about 12 minutes a game. Like I said, not really looking to play him a whole lot in that trade. We also have James Johnson coming off the bench a little bit, getting a couple of playing time. But that's about it. A short bench, only going about 10 deep. So, Udonis has him. He is still on the team. We're not looking to trade him. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump straight into the opening game. We're going to be taking on the Orlando Magic at Orlando. So, our first game, hopefully we can come out with a victory and start off the season on a good note. So, let's go ahead and jump straight into the commentary right here. You see right away they're going to find Jeff Green in the corner. And Jeff Green knocks down the three gives the magic an early lead but we're going to find josh richardson off the screen wide open mid-range and he's going to knock down that midi we take a lead four to three in this ball game but here comes evan fournier stepping back behind the three-point line he knocks down that three-point shot they're up six to four but here is Sasan Whiteside and he is working down low with the nice spin move and he will finish it with the dunk now going right back to Whiteside able to lob that pass into him and then that will be a slam dunk for Whiteside now we're going right back to him they bring the double team so this is going Dragic wide open for three he's able to knock that one down we're up 15 to 11 but we're not done look at this nice reverse layup by Goran Dragic driving baseline we're now up by six points Hassan Whiteside grabbing the rebound kicking this one out to McRoberts who is wide open he knocks down that three and we take a early 20 to 8 11 lead they have to call a timeout things are looking very good but here come the Orlando Magic getting that nice floater to go off the glass right there cutting into the deficit just a little bit but then we got Tyler Johnson left wide open 
knocking down that three point shot. We are up by 11 points, but the Magic are going to keep on fighting. That's going to be Evan Fournier knocking down that shot. Then right here, the nice turnaround jumper from Vucevic. Hand in his face, still knocking it down. And then Aaron Gordon showing that he has a little bit of range as well, knocking down that three-point shot. They're still not done. Vucevic from the free throw line is going to get the friendly bounce. That one will go in. This is now a three-point ball game. Then we turn the ball over, and Jeff Green is taking off on the other end. And that is going to make this one a one-point ball game. So the Magic are definitely rallying back. Still down by one right here. This is Alfred Payton going to find Jeff Green down low. He gets that layup to go down, and the Orlando Magic actually take the lead. But they're still not done. Off the missed shot, the putback by Serge Ibaka. That one goes in. They're up 42-40. to 40. And then look at this pass right here. Cross-court pass perfectly to Aaron Gordon. He knocks down that three-point shot. They are leading this ball game. The Vucevic is going to miss this one. But look at that nice tip-in by Bismack Biyombo, And that is going to take us to halftime. The Orlando Magic came back here in the second quarter. 47-42 to 42 is the score at halftime. So, starting things off here in the third quarter. Hopefully, we can stop the momentum that they built up in the second quarter. So, Jeff Green calling for the screen. He's coming off of it. We're going to the basket. He will end up passing this one out to Vucevic, who gets the nice shot, but he misses it. But look at Jeff Green hustling, getting that shot to eventually go down. 49 to 42 is the score in the white side, getting rejected as he tries to get that shot to go off the glass. And then Vucevic hustling right here as well. He will miss it, get the tip from Ibaka, and they answer on the second shot attempt. So 51 to 44 is the score. Then Evan Fournier coming off some screens. Knocking down that three-point shot. They are extending their lead. And Jeff Green pulling up right here. He knocks down that mid-range shot. And we cannot come back to save our lives right here in this matchup. Look at this. Stepping back from behind the three-point line. Knocking it down. 78-65 is the score here in the fourth quarter. But we're going to try to come back. That is Winslow missing the three. But it's on Whiteside going up strong with that put-back dunk. So we're now only down by 11 points. Josh Richardson with the mid-range is going to get the friendly bounce to go down as well. So this is a single-digit ball game, but the Orlando Magic will be a little too much. That is Evan Fournier knocking down another three-point jumper. They will end up cruising to a 107-90 to victory. We will lose our opening game of the season. Started off great, definitely just leveled off in the second and third quarter and then weren't able to really come back in the fourth quarter. So, taking a look at the final stats, Vucevic, 24 points and 11 rebounds for the Orlando Magic. Hassan Whiteside for us had a great game, 27 and 18 on 9 for 12 shooting. Just didn't really get much from anybody else. Johnson had 13 points for us and then Goran Dragic had 11, but that's about all we got from the rest of our players. But, that is all I have for this episode, you guys. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, Please go ahead, leave this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.